Welcome back to Elden Ring. I am Sideshow Ashley. I am filling in for Tagback TV today. And I do apologize for the lateness of this particular video. Today we are talking about somber smithing stones and smithing stone bells. Basically, you take the bell to the twins back at the round table hold and you're able to trade in runes to get these smithing stones instead of finding them out in the world itself. Now, we're only gonna go over a couple of them, mainly because the last couple of sombering smithing stones, as well as one of the other smithing stone spells that you need, is actually locked behind a couple of bosses. And we're not gonna cover that now because it's extremely late game content and you don't need it quite yet. So without further ado, let's go further. Now, I do wanna note that in order to get these ball bearings, you do need to beat Godric the Grafted. And that's part of it that will be difficult if you haven't gotten that far yet, but he is completely doable. So go ahead and open your map. And I'm actually up here at the study hall. We don't need to be there. We actually need to go up here to the Rayla Carrion Crystal Tunnel. Now, if you haven't discovered that yet, you're gonna get him straight from Stormvill Castle, and you're actually going to be following this path all the way up here. All the way up to Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Now, within the tunnel, you actually have to beat the boss in order to get the ball bearing. And I do believe that Tag has already done this one. But we'll go ahead and double check and get to the end of the boss and come back in a hot second. Okay, so Tag has already done this particular dungeon. The reward for this is going to be a ball bearing. And once you beat the boss, who is a troll, by the way, you'll be able to return it to the Husk Twins. For the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell bearing second location, you're gonna need to have found the capital city. It is called the Sealed Tunnel. And considering that it's already on his map, I'm gonna assume that he's already done it. But just like before, you need to go into it and you need to start looking around. Now for this particular tunnel, you actually don't need to beat any of the bosses in order to get it. It's actually in a chest on your right as you make your way through the tunnel. So we are at the entrance of the tunnel. Let's go ahead and see if we can find where that chest is and go from there. Now I'd like to note that I'm personally not this far in the game. So I do find it a little amusing that he had me go through and do all of this today. But hey, here we are, I'm just beating things up. So if you notice that I keep switching between a couple of weapons, I actually typically go for dexterity weapons because I enjoy being able to move a little bit faster. I don't rely on strength nearly as much. As you can tell, I like backstab. So this would be where the ball bearing would be. Come over here, open the chest, and then you can return it to the Husk Twins. So for the third location for the Mining Stone Bell Bearing, it's actually much further into the game after you defeat Magat Omen King at the top of Lindell. From the mountain top side, you're gonna take the Grand Lift of Rold and head into the Zamor Runes. Tag has already opened up that shortcut for us, so we're gonna go ahead and head there. Welcome to the mountain top of the giants. This is where we're gonna find our third smithing stone miner's bell. Uh, it is a little, a little tricky to get to. Uh, we're going to do some sneaky, sneaky work here. You cannot get here until much later in the game. That is to note, you need to beat a couple of bad boys. But go ahead and come on up this way. We're gonna avoid all of the creepy giant things. Run right over here. Not missing the hole about 20 times. Let me off the horse, please. Thank you. 
Very dark. All right. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. And voila! One that Tag has not found yet. Excellent. For the Sober Stone Miner's Belt, for the Cilia Crystal Tunnel, we need to go to the northwest of Cilia Town of Sorcery. Uh, pretty much pop up from your fast travel point if you have it already open, and you're going to murderize the dog who's beating me up, and you're gonna actually just head straight into the tunnel. Now, you do have to fight a falling star beast in the arena. It is a small arena. It is not pleasant, but it is doable. As I mentioned, I'm not this far in the game yet, so this was kind of a surprise to me having to fight this thing, uh, but it only took me two times to get it down. A little parkour is required to actually get to the boss, but other than that, it's pretty standard dungeon. And if you haven't fought one of these things yet, you will need to learn how to dodge. Get really good at dodging. For this next one, I actually prefer going this way. We're gonna come through here and down, and our goal is actually here. Once you find the doggies, you actually have found one of the best places to drop down. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and casually end all of their careers and then we'll get down and make our de mad dash across the valley. Now enemies are sparse in this valley, but you don't necessarily have to run into them. And if you have been following any of the guides that Tag has put out for room farming to upgrade your character, most of them aren't really going to hit very hard either, especially if you have any sort of inkling about how to fight in this game. So go ahead, dash across this valley, and it'll pretty much poop you out where you need to be to go ahead and do the next dungeon. And also, if you ever get lost and you have picked up any of the map pieces, remember most of the dungeons where you can get these sombering smithing stones any smithing stones for that matter look like a little black cave with a red outline on the map itself so keep that in mind in case you need to go places as well as putting markers on your own map because this map is freaking huge now this particular dungeon is no different than any of the other dungeons that you're going to come across as you go through it the only difference is that there's two bosses at the end of this dungeon, so having the Mimic Tears is actually really helpful, especially to pull aggro off of one of them so you can hyper-focus. They do have incredibly high poise, but once you break their poise and essentially shatter the crystallins, both the ring blade and the spear, they take a ton more damage, which makes your life a lot easier. So just keep that in mind, beat them up, and they are susceptible to back damage. Back stab damage. <laughs> and voila, you got your last somber miner's bell bearing. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn in everything that we have now to the twins. Take my bells, take them. And as you can see, we now have lots and lots and lots of stuff that we can buy from them for a lot of runes. And as a bonus, here's a little something for you. At the study hall entrance, you can actually go in here and you'll have mandatory PvP with an NPC called Proctor Miriam. Now, Proctor Miriam is infamous on Reddit, but I just have a little something to tell you. You're in a Dark Souls game. If there is water, and if there is gravity, 
let that do the heavy lifting. Easy, easy cheese. Go ahead and just kill whatever you can. Try not to get killed first. And you're gonna go ahead and hide in here until Proctor Miriam actually comes to you. We're gonna wait, and we're gonna wait, and we're gonna wait. See, eventually, this thing is gonna follow us down there. And by down there, I mean back towards the entrance. When that happens, we are just going to kite it around the giant pillar in the middle. Now, it does take a little bit of waiting. I think the whole process took me about five minutes total. It was about here that I realized that Dr. Merriam had dropped down, and you'll see how I figured it out right about there. So what you need to do is wait until they hit this point and come a little bit closer. Again, it's a waiting game. But you don't want to wait until you get out of sight and Parker Miriam has a bad habit of coming out of the way. So unless you've got something with major bleed damage, it makes it a huge pain in the tuchus. Them. Once they're around that corner, you're gonna get just get right back on the elevator. That's it. That's the whole cheese. Congratulations. Go about your merry way. Just be aware that there are ghosts inside of the study hall. Uh, you cannot access the rest of the study hall until you do another NPC's quest line, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. It has to do with that pedestal up front. You put a statue there. Until then, go ahead and further your way to victory, as one does, and you'll be able to actually collect the staff. Now the name of the game here is just kind of chill out and wait until a magic item pops up on your screen. That's how you know that Proctor Miriam is nice and gone. Anyway, I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful. I know I'm not your usual host, Tagback TV, but I did enjoy making a video for y'all today. And you know, the family who souls together stays together. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll take my terrible tricks and go. I will see you all in the next one, or at least Tag will. Right? Okay, bye!